In this video, we're going through the basic configuration of the ZLX24S control board, which you can manage a variety of swing gate operators. The configuration is very simple using a menu system that you can access by pressing enter. The first item is configuration and you can use the right and left arrows to move around the menu. Press enter to see the options inside configuration, like for example motor settings, run settings, wire safety devices, command inputs, functions, times where you can change the automatic closing, manage the behavior warning lights, and continue until you see wizard, where it's going to guide you step by step through all the basic configurations to get the operators working. So press enter to start the wizard. And you'll see that the first step is to select the amount of operators that you're going to use. Only M2 is if you have only one operator connected. Or select M1 and M2 if you're using two operators. In my case, I only have one operator, so I'll select only M2 and press enter to go to the next step. Now it's asking for the motor type. Select your operator, that in my case is uh, Fernie, and press enter. In the motor check section, you can test the operators by holding the left arrow to open the motor number one, or hold the right arrow to open motor number two. If any of the operators move in the closing direction, follow the instructions on your operator to reverse the direction. Then you can select the behavior of the safety input CX that it should be connected in a contact normally close with pin 2 that is the common. There are several options for safety devices but the most common is the C1 that it will open the door while closing. I have a photo cell connected in pin CX so I'll select C1 to enable it. I don't have anything connected in the other safety inputs, so I'll leave them off. Now you can add remote controls, but make sure to have the AF card installed to be able to receive the signal. Press enter and now choose the command you want to execute with the remote control button you're about to program. Step by step will allow to open and close, while sequential will also allow to stop the gate in between doing an open stop close stop sequence. There are other options, but in my case I'll select sequential. Once you press enter, it's going to start the learning mode, so press the button in the remote control. If you're not going to program more remote controls, press escape or wait until the indicating bar is full. Now the final step is travel calibration, where the board is going to learn all the run. When you press enter, it's going to close all the gates and then open them. Once all the gates are open, the calibration has been completed and you can start testing everything. When the board is not in the menu system, you can use the left arrow to send an open command and the right arrow to send a close command. One thing you might want to do is to change the overall speed. You can do that in configuration and run settings. The opening speed is set to 70% by default, so in my case I'll change it to 100%. Same for the closing speed. Another common option is the automatic closing that you can enable by going to configuration and times. Press enter to edit the automatic closing 
and select the number of seconds you want the gate to remain open before closing automatically. There are a lot of more options, so I invite you to check out the menu. Link in the description. I hope it was helpful and thank you for choosing Kame for your automation solution.